Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. No footies yet. As we talked about in yesterday's video, Shapeshifters 4 is coming instead. This is the loading screen that we have right now telling us some information about cards coming today. Good thing is, we have some leaks. We'll take a look at those and talk about who some of these cards on the loading screen are. And of course, the biggest part of content today is the Summer Swaps Rewards will be made available. So we will finally be able to turn in our hard-earned swap tokens for packs, for player picks, for a Kempembe card, one of the two options that are out there, and also a new swap token pack. Looks like it's coming today as well. We have to talk about a lot of things today as Shapeshifters 3 ends and Shapeshifters 4 starts with more shapeshifter heroes coming today and regular shapeshifter cards and packs it feels like a continuation again of what the last week has been not as hype but i think there's actually some hype today because we have the summer swaps rewards we have a pretty cool leaked sbc that is coming out and we still have another 93 plus tots or shapeshifter pack uh that is going to be re-released today and there's some other packs in the code that are really, really interesting. So I want to take a look at all of that in today's video and, of course, how things are going to move on the market today and just what to expect on a pretty solid Friday in FIFA. I know it's not footies. We'll look forward to that next Friday. But I think today is going to be a pretty hype day, especially with the Summer Swap rewards being given out. So if you're excited for content today, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top and take a look at the Shapeshifter Team 4 cards and some of the content that we are expecting to see today. Now, you are noticing that I am taking a look at the Foot Leader Twitter account, not Foot Sheriff as of yet, because Sheriff has not tweeted out any players that are in the promo team. Now, I want to start off by saying this. Yesterday, we had the Marco Royce SBC, right wing with these stats. Foot Leader leaked the Royce card with the exact same stats and position, while Foot Sheriff did not have the position shown on his leak or the correct stats. So that makes us believe that the foot leader account is pretty accurate. Again, we're still taking this with a pinch of salt today and we're gonna see what happens at 6 p.m. But we do believe these are some of the leaked cards coming out today. Striker Pepe with five-star weak foot, four-star skills. That's gonna be an interesting card. A Chris Wood card. Now here's an interesting one to start off. Chris Wood's center back is leaked by foot leader to be in the team. He's leaked by foot sheriff to be an SPC. Not sure about that. Um, Kempembe from Swap Rewards, we'll talk about that. Haidara, we looked at him. Claude Maurice, we're expecting him in packs today. David Silva, Kyle Walker, center back, not goalkeeper as everybody would wish he could be. A center mid delict card. A CDM, Tim Cahill, shapeshifter heroes. There's a lot of great shapeshifter heroes coming out today. Uh, Joe Cole, center attacking mid League One, right? Right back, Cordoba in the Serie A. A Betty Pele, right wing, Five star, five star Bundesliga item. He's actually on the loading screen, if you did notice. Left wing Dempsey, Premier League. Uh, there's the Royce card. And then probably the headliner for a shapeshifter player is Conte getting a five star skill boost and really not that big of a position change. So, again, we're taking this leaks, these leaks with a grain of salt because. Yes, the cards that we have on the loading screen would kind of confirm that this Abedi Pele would be correct. And the Kyle Walker card that is a center back on the loading screen with 95 physical, that could very well be this item. We're not entirely sure. So again, we, we're taking all these with a pinch of salt, but we do believe that at least the Abedi Pele is correct. Based on the loading screen that we see right now loading into FIFA, it would make sense that that is uh, kind of what's going down today. Now, also, we're going to have to watch... Wow, I just loaded into FIFA and it didn't show me the loading screen. Very nice. Um, well, okay, I guess we'll try again and look at that. But we're just going to have to see what EA do drop today because last week, remember, we were not sure what the promo team was going to be. And a couple hours before content, it was finally leaked. So watch out for leaks today from either Foot Sheriff or Foot Leader, maybe posting the whole entire team. And then we'll maybe see what some of these cards mean. The card that's here in the middle, the right wing with 97 pace, that's a Shapeshifter Heroes card. There's really only one main option we think that could be, and that's Di Natale. I don't know if they're going to make Di Natale, uh, you know, that's a pretty sizable boost for his pace, plus four from his 93 paced foot captain's card. But that would be an incredible Di Natale card. I don't know what item would be there instead of him because Joe Cole is leaked to be center attacking mid. So there are some questions today about what cards are going to be in packs. Honestly, I'm just going to wait until 6 p.m. and see what happens. Uh, but we're going to take those cards on loading screen with a grain of salt. As per usual, or a pinch of salt, I should say. I keep getting it wrong. But 
let's talk more about content today, right? Cards and packs, going to be interesting. Objective-wise, Dan James, I believe, is going to be our objective today. We have two objectives leaked. The first one is, of course, this Daniel James. The other one is Iago. So either of these two cards will be dropping today via objective. And then I believe our SBC card today is going to be Milito. Player pick, right? We had Ole last week. I think today that the Milito will be our player pick that we should see. Now, I've heard a couple of rumors that depending on which version of Milito you choose, like with Ole, they were different positions with different stats. We might have two different Militos from different leagues, right? He's His base hero card is Serie A. His hero captain's card is La Liga. Maybe they'll do something like that with either of the versions that gets dropped today for this SBC. We do imagine this could be our SBC card. Other SBCs that are leaked, we have the Wood, which Foot Sheriff says is an SBC. Foot Leader says he is in the team as a center back, I believe. We're not sure what's going to happen with the Wood card here from Newcastle. And then we have a flashback Pereira as well that has been leaked. So any of those are free game for SBCs today, technically. But I really feel like the Milito would be the one since we had Ole last Friday. I really think that we'd have a Melito today. It would just make sense based off of what EA likes to do on Fridays, liking to kind of copy what they did the week before. So that's the SBC that I would expect today. Now, speaking of SBCs, we're probably not going to have too much other content other than that. Maybe another Shapeshifters token SBC. Maybe. That's definitely not 100% confirmed. But uh, we had Shapeshifters Challenge 13 yesterday. That was not a token, so maybe we're doing another token SBC since this one is expiring that had a token. But other SBC content coming out today is the 93 plus tots and shapeshifters player pick. Just like the last two weeks, it is getting refreshed again today. So tots cards or shapeshifters team one, two, and three. Team four will not be available from this player pick as it was not the first time. This is going to be another SBC a lot of people want to go out and do. And it's going to be pretty easy to do if you're opening packs today because... The biggest part of content today is still, in my opinion, the fact that the Shapeshifter Swaps rewards are being given out today. Where are you going to find them, right? Just like every other Swaps promo that we have had, you're going to go to the Swaps section and they are going to be in here. They're not in here just yet, but they will be in here later today. Every single reward from the, the 2 token 82 times 25 all the way up to the 40 token Zidane, all of the rewards will be dropped today. And, of course, today is a day with big decisions that we have to make. Are we going to open some of our fodder packs? Are we going to save some of those packs? What are we going to take today with our coins? And I mentioned in yesterday's video, there might be a method to the madness. And here's what I'm thinking. First of all, this weekend, with the Shapeshifters Team 4 in packs, it's going to feel a lot like last week with Team 3, most likely, right? The pack weight's not going to be that insane. You know... Only from like the guaranteed shape, or not the guaranteed, but the token pack. That had really, really good pack weight last week. We'll talk about that. There's another one of those added to come today. But from the reward packs, if I were you, this is kind of my thinking behind this. I think today what I'm going to do is I plan to take the 23 token requirement or the reward, the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick one of five. I believe right now there are 27 tokens that have been made available. After today, we might have 20, 28, 29, maybe even 30, depending on how many tokens they drop today on Friday. So you might even be able to get the 96 plus e-figs if you've gotten all the tokens done. But probably Kimpembe is going to be where like the, the highest reward you're going to be able to get for most people today. It's completed most of the tokens. But I plan on doing the 82, 83, 84 times 25 and the 85 times 20, the fodder packs as they're called. I'm not going to open those today though. What I'm going to do is get as many tokens as I can. I have like 17 right now. I'm going to try to get up to 23 if possible in the next couple of days. And I'm going to end up taking the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick first. I'm going to take my gamble pack or gamble player pick first. Whatever one of these packs you're going for or whether you're taking Cafu or if you're taking one of the versions of Kempembe, I think it would be in your best decision to take one of those player picks or packs today and then save your fodder packs for next week and maybe even the week beyond that when we're inside of footies because during footies we get such great SBCs and such great content, you need a lot of fodder to get those done. I think your fodder would go longer and 
you know, it would, it would last you longer and it would help you out more during footies than maybe it would right now in this game. Unless the SBCs that are out in this game right now are ones that you really want to get done, like the Royce, the Trent on its last day before it expires. Maybe it's Ole. I mean, we still have tons like Gareth Bale. I know people are wanting to get done. We still have a moment's player pick if you want to do that. There's a lot of SBCs that are still available right now. And if any of these are ones that you're really, really wanting to do, then I understand wanting to open packs today. But if you're in the boat where you're like, mm, none of these SBCs are really want to get done, I'm going to save some packs. And I think that's a really good route to go. I've actually got a decent amount of packs saved. I'll probably open a couple of these today. Maybe some of the, you know, 25, maybe 100K pack here or there. These are just some random ones. All of my 85 times fives I have saved. Maybe opening one or two of those today just to try one out. But for the most part, I'm going to be saving these because... I just know that when footies comes out, fodder is going to be so, so, so important. And, you know, I, I think I'm going to try to save my fodder packs for when footies comes out because they're going to be incredibly OP and a lot better value than they are right now. So that's kind of the way that I might try to look at things today with your swap rewards. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you going to be taking the fodder packs today and just ripping them because you don't want to wait any longer? Or are you going to maybe wait a little bit and then take your higher tier player pick today? I don't even know like 95 plus shapeshifters player pick are the are the team four cards going to be available from that i would imagine so right i would imagine that even in a 93 plus they would be available of course the tots player picks all those tots cards are out in the game at this point so there's that now also for the compembes i do believe that we have some insight on what the compembes are going to look like he says stats may not be 100 percent accurate but it is rumored that the 92 the 10 token compembe is a center attacking mid with five star skills and the 27 token or whatever it is 25 token cdm compembe is four star skills five star weak foot but with absolutely insane stats like look at that card now if that's a uh 27 token card that's a huge huge card uh guaranteed stat wise so some of you guys may be going for a compembe today if you are depending on how many tokens you have you kind of have to take make the decision on which one you want to get but both those cards look insane and you know i would i would i would lean towards taking one of those compembe's today instead of the fodder packs but again like i said let me know down in the comments what you think and what you're kind of be going for with this now speaking of packs once again like i said there's some new pack code that's been added we are going to be getting another token pack today, two weeks in a row with a token pack, and it is also untradeable. This is the last one as last week. It's the same as last week, except the player pick includes not three lone shapeshifter heroes or players, but five, and it still um, contains three hero shapeshifters. I, I read that wrong. Let me rephrase that. So you get seven untradeable gold rare players. Okay, this is a different pack altogether. Just kidding. It's got the same name, different contents. Seven gold rare players that are 84 or higher. So fodder is going to be supplied, untradeable, mind you. Untradeable fodder is going to be supplied into so many people's clubs because they love these packs to get the token, to get the pack. It's an 84 times seven pack. You get a summer swaps token and then two player picks between a three loan hero shapeshifters and five loan shapeshifter players. I don't know if that's just going to be from team four or whatever, but five... Uh, basically a shapeshifter player loan and a hero shapeshifter loan and then an 84 times seven so it's probably going to be a hundred thousand coins to open just like the other shapeshifter pack was this last week but that's a lot of fodder being put into people's clubs now there's also a couple other packs here that i want to mention really quick a hero shapeshifter guaranteed let's go ea sports that's probably a pack that we would see later on in the week that's nice give me some of that a guaranteed hero shapeshifter absolutely i want to gamble on that i absolutely want to open that pack and then also a shapeshifter player pack, which guarantees one player from shapeshifters team or four. I would, Im I would imagine that those are going to be SBCs or some sort of like objective reward maybe later on down the week. I don't know that we would be able to open those today on Friday. Then we also had some other random kickoff touch first touch and jumpstart packs. Don't know where that's coming from, but I guess for people that are just starting FIFA right now, EA wants to give them a boost. So there's that. But the biggest pack to know about today is, again, another token pack is coming into the store. Just like you see here, the Shapeshifter Foundations pack. It's basically this pack right here, which I've already opened, so it's, it's gone for me. But we're going to get a new one of those today. Uh, probably going to be 100,000 coins, but only like 500 FIFA points to try to get people to go on and spend the, the little bit of money 
to get that pack for the swap token and then whatever fodder you get from it. So that's the big pack news that's going to be happening today in the game. Speaking of that pack, that's a big pack, right? And we always know that those SBCs or those, those packs in the store affect the market a lot because people are going to get all that fodder and go and do SBCs. Now, last week when we had that pack, what happened to the market? The market was pretty stagnant, if I'm being honest. There were some low prices on the Shapeshifter cards before they went up, the ones that went out of packs from Team 2 last week. And then SBC fodder last week, it didn't really move that much. It went down a little bit. People still went out and did the 93 plus uh, Tots and Shapeshifters player pick and other SBCs that were out. So then it had a slight jump a little bit later on. And then it went down further into the night. I kind of think that's the same thing that's going to happen today. Your fodder is probably not going to move that crazy. A lot of people are like, Nate, isn't fodder going to crash because EA is putting out this pack? The pack is a little bit different. I mean, technically, they're going to be giving out more 84s, 85s, and 86s to everybody in the game that opens that untradeable shapeshifters foundations pack or whatever. So I honestly wouldn't be investing in fodder for it to go up really quick today. Fodder might actually drop a little bit with the lightning round supply, with people opening summer swaps packs, and with an untradeable pack in the store. There's really a lot of untradeable supply coming today, but I, I don't know how that's really going to affect these card prices on the market that much. I feel like their prices have dropped down a lot already. Like 86s last week were like 19K, and this week they really only hit a peak of like 14K. Now people that invested are kind of selling off and they're going down. I think fodder will be a pretty good buy this weekend, 100%. But I think for today, in the first couple hours, it's probably just going to drop a bit. Maybe you'll see a slight bounce back in an hour or two after that. Um, as people go out and do SBCs, but then once we get further on into the evening per usual, all of these cards are probably going to drop down even lower with the late night lightning rounds that we always look forward to seeing. So if you're watching the fodder market today and you want to make an investment, I think between Friday night and Sunday morning is going to be your time frame to try to get low prices on all of these cards rated 83 to 92. And that's going to be an opportunity to invest in some of that stuff starting tonight on Friday. Again, heading until Sunday. Just watch the low points on this stuff. Um, as you know, the SBC content, there's a lot of SBCs that are out right now. It's just, you know, some of them people have already done. And it's not a lot of gamble packs. It's a lot of player SBCs. Like the Royce that we had yesterday is really good value. The Melito today might be pretty good value if he's the one that's dropped. So that's kind of that. Now, regarding the rest of the market today, shapeshifter cards from like Team 3. You guys might be wondering like, Nate, what's going to happen to like, maybe let's say like a Ribéry today. Some of your top tier cards, again, like last week, I was feeling the same way. I would be a little bit careful with your top tier cards because if the heroes that come out today, if we get an Abedi Pele, wow, a 3-6 undercut there for Ribéry, that's going to get sniped right away for sure. People want to try this card out. But, you know, Abedi Pele, if we get Dina Talley today, if we get a position change Joe Cole, those are a lot of heroes. Like if you look at the shapeshifter heroes that we have had in this past week, a lot of them are really cheap. Besides Ginola, there is no other shapeshifter hero in the team that's over 100k. Ginola is the only one, right? You've got Yunberg, you've got Gomez and Morientes that are really, really cheap cards. Today, I think we're getting a higher tier of quality on the hero shapeshifters. So I think that people might want to go out and try those. So maybe your cards like Ginola, maybe Ribery and Rashford, those guys might drop a little bit after content. I could also see cards like, yeah, you know, uh, Valverde today, who's going out of packs, is a very, very rare card. This might be an item that you want to keep an eye on because a lot of people are going to finish crafting Gareth Bale. And like I said, this guy's very rare and the best link to Gareth Bale. He's like 700,000 coins, 650. Okay, uh, I just searched at 700K. This is how dead the market is at this time of the year. Valverde at 650. I might have to hold on to that because he is actually 700K, whatever. Uh, but that's the kind of thing that you might want to watch out for. If there's some panic selling on any of the, like Valverde, maybe, um, maybe even like, I don't know, maybe Leroy Sané with some of the Bundesliga links, like with Royce coming out, Leroy Sané does get a nice green link to Royce and you know, Sané doesn't have a ton of special cards this year. So maybe this would be a card you would watch today. If there's panic selling, he could rise back up as a really good card going out of packs and then everything else that's out of packs maybe guys from like shapeshifters team one and two maybe some of your tots cards as well we've been watching this ramos card a lot on stream he goes between like 1.5 high and then the 1.4 is all the time 
today might be a really good time to catch some panic selling and flip some cards because after people open some of their shapeshifter packs or sorry some of their summer swaps packs open their shapeshifter pack in the store they're going to want to go out and, and put some teams together or do sbcs so that first probably 30 minutes to an hour is going to be a lot of you know craziness as people are doing share plays and we're opening up a lot of packs and stuff like that but then after that people are going to go back out onto the market and buy cards for their teams to play foot champs and stuff so i think that during that first hour especially during that first 30 minutes keep an eye on the market for a lot of potential snipes a lot of potential undercuts and stuff like that because you're going to be able to find deals in that time frame as people are going crazy about all the packs for shapeshifters uh you know team four that is coming out today. So I know it's a lot of information in one video. We're going to be covering the content drop live today on Twitch around 5 p.m. UK time. Link is down below in the description. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm going to try to build some player picks, continue grinding as many swap tokens as I, as I can. I can't promise a 95 plus player pick for me today. I'll be close. I'll be close, but I don't know if I can get these last four swap tokens that I need to get it done in time. That's eight squad battles games. And I got to try... I'm going to try to stack some player picks today. I really am. Maybe a set of like 20 to 25 won't be too hard to build uh, just to have and give myself a shot at packing maybe something today. I packed Felipe day one last week. Maybe I can pack, I don't know, some dupe theory for Conte. That'd be insane. But you know what? We're going to give ourselves at least a shot since we have coins to do that and, and to full send it. So I want to have some sort of packs to open today for Shapeshifters Team 4. So again, I know it's not footies and we started to get hyped for it, but we have to kind of wait till next week for that. But I think there's a lot of reasons to be hyped today for Summer Swaps and for all the other packs that are out. It should be a fun day. If you're opening, if you're saving player picks, if you want to try out new hero Shapeshifters and still a little bit of unknown on what cards are going to be dropped today in packs, I like that. I like that little bit of unknown. So if you're excited for the content today, hit the thumbs up on the video. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.